All right, welcome into the shop, everybody. A little bit of an interesting video, I think, today. Um, I've got an idea for a new mortise and tenon. I cannot take credit for it. Uh, a guy, a gentleman on Instagram messaged me. I've been following along as I build this table in my stories, talking about my mortise and tenon joinery and how the mortises go all the way into this table leg and meet. And so your tenons are actually mitered. And he thought, well, why are you mitering them? Um, why don't you throw a dovetail inside the leg in the mortises? And I thought, well, that doesn't seem practical at all. And I don't see really the advantage to that. But I kept thinking about it. And I was like, well, the first thing that came to my mind was like, I'd like to try to do it. I think it might be kind of cool to see if I could actually make a dovetail inside of this leg. And then I thought, well, maybe it does make the leg stronger. And the only way to know is to do it and test it. So real quick, let me try to better explain what's happening. So like I said, this is the table leg mortise and tenon joinery so you want the maximum amount of glue surface in your joinery so we cut these mortises all the way into the leg till they meet each other so basically this hole comes in bottoms out and meets this one over here and in order to make that work your aprons which have the tenon that go into that mortise have to be mitered so when the, those two aprons come together uh, they don't butt, bump into each other and the joint won't seat this is very common way of doing mortise. It's been done like this for hundreds of years and it just allows you to use the most of that leg to get glue surface. So for this video what I want to do is instead of mitering these I actually want to try to make them dovetail together inside the leg. So that kind of gives you some background info on what we're doing. Let's just jump in and try to make this happen.
Okay, so this video was entirely experimental. Had no expectations. This was just an idea I got from a butt from a follower on Instagram, and it has turned out to be something quite cool. I woke up this morning with the intentions of coming in here and trying to break this joint, stress test it, and something told me, you know what, you should cut away the waste and see what's inside. See what it looks like inside the mortise. I think it would make a cool thumbnail. That was really my whole game plan, uh, but a whole lot more. It just looks incredible. Check this out. How cool is that? A dovetail in the corner of the leg. It looks awesome. I worked for a while today cleaning this up. I've got it all polished and sanded nice. I kind of did a little hack job down here. It doesn't look great there, but there's something here, people. And I think I've got to build a table and use this joint. What we got to do, well, I think there's even a potential to bevel this shoulder here and have kind of a cool transition. But I think for me, um, I would just eliminate that, make everything flush, this all one clean flush plane, take the shoulder out on the front of these, so that would be flush as well, put a shoulder on the back so that we have some strength there, because this top piece is going to get super fragile, that back shoulder will help strengthen it. You've got a table joint right there, your apron wraps around it with a dovetail in the corner. That's freaking cool. I've got a table I need to build for my kids playroom, a little arts and crafts table, and I'm going to use this joint. So. I think we're onto something though. I don't even know what you call this. It's a new joint. I gotta say, it's a new joint. So I need a name for this. You gotta leave a comment. Let me know. What do you call this? Maybe there's some other cool applications y'all are seeing that I'm not seeing. I think this video was well worth the effort and I've got another video now to make. I've got to build a table using this joint once I figure out what I'm gonna call it. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Be on the lookout for a new video coming soon with this joint on it. Thanks for tuning in guys. See you next time.